Good morning guys. I just thought I'd do another quick uh, video um, explaining to you CF Moto uh, 450MT owners where we're up where we are up to uh, with the latest ECU um, uh, mapping versions. So uh, behind me I have a 25 model um, on the dyno that has the single exhaust outlet. And um, over the last sort of few days, I've been doing a lot of testing and um, mapping revisions um, uh, to suit the standard pipe on the 25 model. Um, the power difference between the 24 and the 25, um, there's a little bit of difference. Um, it's a little bit lower on the 25 model due to um, the more restrictive exhaust. Um, it is minimal uh, from what we can measure so far. Um, it's about 0.2 of a horsepower out. Although the tuning of the bike is a little bit different, uh, you know, in the requirements. Um, so we've, you know, done a revised map for the 25 model. If you're running the obviously the standard single outlet exhaust, um, it seems to be no difference if you're running, you know, um, a full system or a slip-on, whether it's a known brand or um, you know some of these uh, the cheap cheap versions available, um, mapping doesn't really seem to, uh, to change. So the rest of the bike seems to be um, identical apart from the exhaust. Uh, we've done a, a couple of other revisions down low in the um, fuel and ignition tables um, to, uh, to smoothen that uh, throttle transition on and off the throttle at low RPM. Uh, so that's definitely improved throughout um, all the different maps that we do. Um, in the version 2 range. Um, any of you guys that have got version 1s that are about, um, if you send them to us, we can upgrade that to version 2 for you and uh, all you do is you pay the, uh, the postage costs. Um, and that goes for any other mapping versions that we do in the future. Um, if we release uh, another version, we are happy um, to upgrade you to that version just for the postage costs. Now, if there's a four state update done and you've still got the T-Box connected and uh, for some reason you lose um, your triple S tune, um, it's been our policy all along that we will assist in to rectify that. Uh, we still haven't had to uh, you know, be taken up on that offer as yet, um, but rest assured, once again, if that was to happen, you just pay postage costs and we'll get you sorted. Anyway, let's move along to um, what sort of gains that that, uh, that we've achieved. So um, the 25 model, you know, around that three and a half thousand RPM, um, trying to hold, a, you know, a steady, steady throttle. They just surge and carry on, um, and you know that's purely due to, um, you know, what uh, pollution targets have got to be met at that particular throttle setting and RPM range. Um, and there's just not a lot the manufacturers can do about it. The bike itself isn't efficient enough. Um, you know, as a package, um, you know, to not do that, so as far as the pollution goes, so it, it has to be lean, right? You know, you'll get other cars and other motorcycles that will run very happy up to 16 to one and there'll be no surging and carry on. And there's other reasons for that, but we're not gonna go into that at this point. This particular bike here, uh, is the 25 and um, we've got some great gains out of it which I'll show you here in a minute um, on the dyno screen. Um, I will uh, attach uh, you know another file, uh, you know picture, graph picture um, up on the video in the comments or something else. I'll stick it there somewhere for you just to see. Now just keep in mind this bike here hasn't got standard tyres on, it's got a big knobby tyre on the rear so that the output figure is slightly lower than what we've tested before, but that's only because there's extra drag on the roller um, with this particular tire. But the, the runs that I'm using here as an example is this particular bike, back to back standard, and then obviously with the reflash done, no other modifications, except for this bike coming with an air cleaner and pre-cleaner mod done. So obviously that's on, on top from the base run. Um, and I haven't bothered changing that because it's a customer's bike and uh, he's been good enough to, uh, to lend it to us for a few days just to get some data out on this 25 model. Um, so anyway, I'll show you up here on the screen where we're up to. So 
so that's a horsepower and torque figures just there from before and after um, so there's some nice little gains there you know just for a reflash um, and especially down lower you know in the rev range um, what we found too, what works on the dyno with this little CF moto bike in a real world scenario, it sometimes just does not you know, compute. So, you know, we'll get a nice straight fuel line, um, you know, whether it's 13 to one or 13 and a half or 14 to one, and you take out in a real life scenario and it doesn't feel as good as what it does on the dyno. So with the latest tunes, it's a combination of logging data on the dyno, right? And logging data in, you know, while you're riding it. Um, I've developed a system that I can carry the laptop around in my backpack, and I can log the AFR data as we ride the bike, um, and then make changes um, to suit. Um, I've also got another little screen that I can put on the handlebar, and I can see the throttle position and you know a bit of live data um, as well, um, just to give me a bit better idea, of, you know when there's a hesitation or, or, or whatnot, so we can go back in and, uh, and, and change that. I've also developed another ADX file um, that I have a live uh, tracer on the fuel map. So when I'm tuning it on the dyno, um, I can see exactly what throttle position and what part of the map um, that I'm in, which has been a pretty big breakthrough uh, with this uh, little bike. Now, you know, um, you know, define perfect. Um, it, you know, it's 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 up to everyone's personal um, uh, you know expectations for this little bike. I think a lot of the people out there, their expectations are too high. You've got to remember where the bike's made. You've got to remember how much you paid for the motorcycle. You've got to have a look at what sort of ECU is in the bike and 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 what monitoring and metering. Um, you know, devices are connected up to the bike. Um, and I think CFMO has done quite well with what they've done. And their hands are tied with the pollution, um, you know, um, rules around the world. So, um, the, the bike itself, um, as it comes out of the factory, some people love it, they don't complain. Um, they're just happy to have the bike and they're happy with the state of tune. And that's fine, and I get that. Um, but you guys that um, uh, you know that are, that are unhappy with it, um, and, and, and uh, I sympathise with you because um, you know, from a tuner's point of view, they're not very good. And you know, whether it's this bike or the new 800 MTX, which we're um, developing here as well, um, you know, they all have the same DNA with issues. But mind you, if it's a, a T7. Um, or trans out with similar issues, but not as bad as the CF motor at this point. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're going to keep tuning, we're going to keep developing different maps for the CFs. Um, it's, it's definitely been uh, a turbulent time with this little motorcycle. Um, you know, it's such a simple motorcycle and basic, but it, it, it is a pain to tune, um, and, and there's reasons for that. Um, and as time goes on, um, uh, you know, we're finding different parts, uh, you know, tables and maps in the ECU um, that do different functions, okay? And hence why, um, you know, there's, there's been a few revisions along the way um, because, uh, you know, when you keep at something, uh, you, you know, you're obviously going to find different areas that you can improve on and, you know, we want to release that to, to the public as well. So that's why also, um, you know, uh, you know, we don't charge you twice. Um, if there's an update, you're yeah, uh, obviously going to get paid, you know, you've got, got to pay the, the freight um, on that. And, you know, I can see, um, you know, over the next sort of 12 months or two years, there's definitely going to be updates, right? There's a lot of guys around the world that are working on this as well. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of us talk to each other um, about what we found and, and whatnot. Um, and, and, you know, it's fairly, fairly, um, you know, involved process, um, you know, to decompile this particular ECU because 
the, the information that the Bosch supplies is, uh, you know, next to nothing on this particular model. Other models that, uh, you know, ECUs that Bosch have released, yes, you can get a, a, you know, a full transcript of addresses and functions, what, um, you know, what does what in the ECU as far as the table wise goes, but this particular model, most of the work we've had to, uh, you know, nut ourselves through trial and error. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm up to about, I think it's about 1100 different map versions that I've written um, for the CF motor and tested, um, some on the dyno and some in, you know, real life conditions to try and get this throttle transition really, really nice. Um, and, uh, and, you know, make a, make a better bike um, out of already a, you know, a fantastic machine. Now, I own one of these, I bought one brand new, that was a 24, you know, and I, I'm a rider, I'm just like you guys. Um, and obviously, you know, I'm also a tuner that, that's been in this industry for a long time, um, tuning motorcycles only, okay? That's what you need to um, understand too, is um, we don't tune cars or, you know, in the morning and then decide to tune motorcycles in the afternoon. We just specialise in one thing. Um, you know, you'll see on different forums around the, around the world, um, uh, you know, they'll buy a Kess or a Bitbox, um, you know, tuning device. And, uh, you know, yesterday I was a painter or yesterday I, I, I built old cars and today I'm a, a motorcycle tuner, right? Um, it's just not as easy as that, guys. You know, would I book a car into tune? No, no, that's, you know, you wouldn't do that. Um, because it's, it's, it's not your craft, right? And there's lots of misinformation, um, you know, around on how to tune these motorcycles because a lot of them are tuning and like a car. Yes, there are some similarities and whatnot, but, you, you know, you can normally pick them out, you know, those particular guys, you know, they'll be using buzzwords and fancy, uh, you know, ways to describe things uh, to, uh, you know, try and express uh, their intelligence. but. When it comes down to it, um, uh, they lack somewhat. There's some really, really clever guys around the world that are working on BCF, so, um, you know, don't get me wrong. But, um, you, you know, look for a motorcycle guy. Um, there's lots of systems on this bike, on these bikes that, you know, are unique to, to motorcycles only. Um, yes, there are other things that are similar to cars, you know, but, you know, each to their own. Um, you wouldn't see us, you know, tuning a diesel car or say an LS or something like that in the morning and then tuning a motorcycle in the afternoon. Um, it just doesn't make sense. And our dyno here is a Pacific motorcycle dyno, um, you know, for logging motorcycle data. You know, we haven't got some, uh, you know, converted car dyno strapped down, you know, with a heap of load on it. Um, it's, there's so many uh, differences between the two crafts, it's not funny. But anyway, um, this little bike, you know, it, it's just got even better in my eyes. Um, you know, CF, when they're releasing updates along the way too, that's, a, that's another thing that we haven't touched on. So I try and pick the latest map version um, and, then, uh, and then obviously mod that particular uh, version to keep up to date with the calibration ID um, in, the, in the bin file, right? So that's the other reason too that sometimes we might have updates because, well, you know, CF Moto's made an update and, you know, that part of the update might be a great part. And, and because we can see the tables changed, right, we can define that table and then that gives us another clue. So there is some information that, uh, you know, that we can get sort of, um, say, free of charge off, off CF Moto if there is a difference because you know, we can compare the two files and define what that is. And if it has made a difference to the bike, well, that's great. Let's build on that map and correct the fuel and ignition table off that. Because it, it's, it's not just the fuel and ignition tables in this ECU, they're important. There's so many other factors to it. So, um, you know, and CF, um, to their credit, from their first version um, to their current version, the maps have improved out of sight. So if you remember back uh, some time ago, when we uh, when we were, we were the first to um, release a flash on the market with our version one, well that was based off CF Moto's version one, 
right? And then obviously CF Moto improved, we improved, uh, you know, improved as well, and and vice versa along the way. So, um, you know, and I got no doubt CF Moto will, um, you know, improve um, what they do because there is a fair bit of backlash you'll see against CF around the world with this tuning issue. Um, and when they, you know, make a move, we'll investigate it and then go back to the drawing board and say, well, yes, if we can perfect on this. So it's definitely, you know, it, this is an ongoing um, ongoing saga for the next sort of, I reckon, a couple of years until everyone gets familiar with the bike um, and CF Moto um, also um, pulls up their socks and, and um, you know, improves the end product. But uh, anyway, over and out, just remember, this bike is the, the 2025 model with the single outlet um, and um, you know for $250 say for a mail-in reflash and you look at the gains that we've got and you know fix all those problems you know it's a no-brainer to get it done um, you see a lot of guys you know and the reason why they're only $250 is it's a sheer volume right um, you know, other flashes that we do are, are much more expensive but this bike here it's a low cost bike we want a low cost flash there's plenty of work to uh, you know sales wise um, on this flash so that's why that we're only charging $250 and, and really for this bike you know any more than $250 um, you're just getting ripped off um, that's purely in, and it's simply what it you know what it is because it's a volume based um, uh, you know flash and you'll see other tuners going, oh, it takes us an hour to read them out and this sort of thing. Well, they're just trying to justify why they're ripping you off. That's purely all they're doing. This particular bike is, you know, we're lucky because we can just up update those particular sectors in the ECU um, to, uh, you know, to update the tables that we need, right? Um, so, you know, don't fall for that chestnut. Anyway, over and out. See ya.